No, I just wanted to say that we're going to do a next level to knowledge. And also, it's off to flowering. Yeah. Flowering is the next one. Uh. And of course, we have had a relatively simplistic model that we've we've enjoyed. We've had Mini Me Adam. We've had Mini Me Eve, and that's been very easy and very simple. But of course, there may be more to this than meets the eye. And we just maybe like to just take it to another mm. to, to uh, another level. Well, are you ready for this? <laughs> another level. Another level. Okay. Now. <laughs> let's just come down to the ground. <laughs> let's just play a little scenario here. Let's supposing that uh, we, you know, let's suppose you are actually in solitary confinement and you're playing as Maxime and playing out Mini Me Adam, Mini Me Eve. And <coughs> yeah, one day you're sitting as Adam on the beach, Eve's off somewhere, and you're thinking to yourself, "Well, I wonder what I could do here." And it's starting to get dark, and there's nothing much going on. And you think to yourself, "Could you think to yourself, well, I guess I could just..." Play myself at chess in my mind. I could play solo mental chess. Could you? Yeah, if you wanted to. There should be nothing stopping you, shouldn't no. you? It's still the same me, isn't it? Mm. If you can do it as Maxi me, why couldn't you do it as Maxi me being Mini me Adam? Yeah. Sit there and play solo mental chess. Um, you might even get carried away and start creating an, um, another experience of your own life on Mars, another island. Who knows? Would there be anything to stop you? So we really don't know whether there's a hierarchy to this or not. For instance, as Maxi Me could be a mini me of another Maxi Me. Yes? We don't really know, do we? <coughs> Sometimes people talk about um, having a kind of group soul. Sometimes it's spoken about as like there's a sort of Maxi Me that's not the absolute total all singing, mega dancing, mega, mega, huge, humongous maxi-me, but just the next level up. Mm. Yes? Um, which one might call, they say, a mega-me. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> 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 or what? No, sorry, just to be clear. Mega. Yeah, um, let's oh, supposing yeah. that, let's just suppose, for example, that, well, we take Adam and Eve, right? Mm. Let's say that Adam and Eve's immediate oversoul would be like maxi-me. Mm -hmm. And that Maxime has basically got two, two, two fragments, two partitions, playing out uh, his own game, his own agenda, or hers, or its, or whatever you want to call it. Huh? Mm -hmm. But there's no reason why that Maxime couldn't be a mini-me of another level of Maxime behind it, mm -hmm. who may be playing out many, many roles, and roles on, on islands and just exploring them all. Mm -hmm. real, the real island man, or woman, or, or Maxime-mini, whatever. But then... That maxi me would be like a mega me to the minis. You see what I mean? So it would go up in a hierarchy. Mm. So the mini me Adam would have the maxi me in solitary confinement, which is only a mini me of another maxi me behind, which we'll call mega me, which is maybe playing out many different scenarios like that. Mm -hmm. And so, well, there's really no reason we've thought about it going across that way, spreading out. Well, if I can do one, I can do I can do a three or four. But we yeah. didn't think about whether it could go in depth as well. Yeah. So we're just going to explore a little bit about, mm. hmm, hey, how about that depth side? Mm. Uh, and um, there is a quite remarkable... Oh, by the way, <laughs> if Adam is sitting on the island and playing a little mini-me chess, well, that could be a micro-me, micro couldn't it? Micro-white and micro-me black. Yes. You see? Yeah. So, isn't it, isn't it? so it yeah. could go infinitely either way. Mm. Now, when you get the idea of this repetition and infinite, there's a wonderful, again, it's a very modern day metaphor. This was completely inaccessible to all the people that wrote those scriptures all that time ago. So either it was inaccessible to them, they didn't know, they had no expression, or again, it was just the wrong time mm -hmm. to express such a concept, but the idea of fractal is incredibly powerful in this concept. Think about this, you, you may see a coastline which has got a crinkle, <coughs> and if you zoom in on it, and expand that out, you find that also has a crinkle. Mm -hmm. And if you zoom in on that and, say, come into a bay, mm -hmm. that also has a crinkle around the bay. Mm -hmm. And if you zoom in on the rock pool, yeah. that also has a crinkle around the rock pool. Mm -hmm. And the crinkle's always the same. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, it always looks similar, but it's never the same. Mm -hmm. and this is one of the interesting things about fractals, is you never get a repeating pattern, even though the pattern is repeating. Mm -hmm. Similar. Mm -hmm. 
And one of the most famous fractals um, oh, yeah. is the Mandelbrot set. Mm -hmm. and, and it looks a little bit like this. You'll see it on the screen in a minute. Oh, and yes. um, you'll have seen it all over yes. the place. And crop circles as well. Yes. I, mm -hmm. I've, spent, I've yes. spent many an hour... You're into fractals. I've spent yes. many an hour with computer programs exploring yes. the Mandelbrot set. Mm. And um, what you can do is you've got this beautiful, crinkly Mandelbrot mm. set. And you go and zoom in anywhere on here yes. and you get a very similar sort of thing coming out. Or mm. actually you get a whole variety of different things coming mm. out of the Mandelbrot mm. set. Yes. They're all different fractals. Mm -hmm. they're, all, they're all different patterns of the same fractal. And one of the interesting mm -hmm. things about a fractal is that as complex as amazingly, awesomely complex as it is, because one of the things about a fractal is you can zoom in infinitely. Mm. So I can take a bit of this, zoom in, look at it, zoom in, look at yeah, it, yeah, zoom yeah, in, yeah. look at it, and it actually goes on and on yeah. and on and on mm. and on, and then it goes on and on and on forever. Yes. And you never get the same pattern twice. Uh -huh. It always looks similar, but it always looks different. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I spent many an hour playing with going into this Mandelbrot set on computers. Uh, but it's quite an awesome experience to see the most rich, gorgeous patterns re repeating but never repeating, always new areas to explore but always on familiar territory. Mm. <clears throat> and the, uh, the amazing thing about that Mandelbrot set and, and most fractals mm. is that they're based on an incredibly simple formula, yeah. which when applied and repeated and repeated and repeated, it just creates this amazing flowering of, of, of what is like creation. Yes. You know? Yes. And what I'd like to do is to share one with you now, just so you can absorb the experience of what it's like to go into such awesome depth, into yeah. just one simple, very simple pictorial representation of a, of a formula. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, this, this one, this guy I've met on the internet, he takes into a journey down to here, right in this end point here, and you mm -hmm. see where it takes you and just allow it to flood through the sheer richness and diversity and uh, dynamism of what is essentially a very, very simple formula yeah. mm. that is repeated. Mm. OK, and here we go. Ha <laughs> ha